Here we go with a short post review uh, of the AGV K6 that I have been uh, riding with uh, the whole summer of 2020. And I have actually done about 7,000 kilometers and crossing four or five countries uh, in the summer. Each of them, they have a different climate, so I can uh, actually share quite a few thoughts about the helmet and, uh, and how it performs. And also that video was requested of, from many people, uh, which were actually only two, but who cares? The helmet was used actually on a Yamaha R1 2020, so it's a sports bike that, uh, that had to deal with, with the helmet. And uh, it held up pretty, pretty well. No troubles in the, in the high speed uh, or high wind situations or whatsoever. It gives you a pretty nice feeling of, uh, of the visibility and the surrounding areas. So uh, I'm quite satisfied with it. It doesn't make your head bouncy or, or wiggling in, uh, in the wind situation. So the, the overall shape and design is working pretty well against that. Number one that I will share with you is actually the thing that uh, annoyed me most. And that was actually the center button for the locking mechanism of the visor. It was actually the same thing that I was a little bit afraid of, that the button is poorly made and it might make some problems in the future. It actually blocks once in a while in the halfway through, so you cannot actually open the visor while the visor is closed and you cannot do anything about it. You have to pull over, get your gloves off and uh, try to wiggle it around because it actually stuck in in the corner side of of the button so uh, i don't know if it's only my helmet if it is something that uh, has happened due to some moisture or dirt that has been inside i'll try to look at it but it actually annoys me a lot because while you're waiting uh, in the traffic lights you're not able to open freely the visor and uh, you're going crazy and sweating and so on so um that's something that uh, I don't know if it's only my helmet experiencing it, but yeah, you can see how it's, it actually struggles to, to come back. So uh, that's on the minus side, but let's get to number two. Number two goes for the two vents on the side and uh, the issue, uh, you have to make up your mind if you're going to keep them constantly open or closed while you're riding and before you start riding because while you put uh, the gloves on then you lose actually the feel of these two vents here so it's hardly to to operate with them it's much better if you just make your mind before you start riding and open or close them and then control the airflow the main airflow with the center one these are the two things that uh, annoyed me most and uh, the rest is only positive and that's the, the huge visor that opens the world in front of you. I definitely recommend it. It's a huge benefit. It makes your life much better and it's a very pleasant experience. Uh, then you have the lightweight of the helmet. You can actually feel it when you're riding in a long distances that it doesn't make your head that heavy in the end of the ride. Although I had the, the GoPro camera mounted it and also the Cardo Pack Talk Slim on the side, so uh, it has a little bit extra weight on it, but it was completely fine. It has a very low drag coefficient, so you can also feel it while you're riding with a high speed uh, on the highway or any wind other situations. So overall, the helmet is pretty nice, so I can only recommend it and uh, looking forward for the next year.